Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 19. We, uh, have been doing some contracts. Been doing some fertilizing contracts, herbiciding contracts, harvesting contracts. Been busy. Been busy working on a lot of stuff. Working on some projects over there. Um, and I came down to this area here. So we finished up getting up all of our, uh, crooked trees over there with the, uh, with the chippa. And, uh, uh, did some contracts to make a little extra money and we're here by field 11. This is field 11 on the map uh, Let me go to the other map So here's field 11 where we're sitting um, It's almost done growing. It's fully fertilized. It doesn't need weed. It doesn't need plowing. It doesn't need lime um, You know what the best thing about field 11 is it is six hundred and eighty thousand dollars So you're probably sitting there thinking well, how is that a good thing? Well, the good thing about that is we have $755,000. So guess what we're going to do? Yeah, buddy. It's ours. It's in soybeans. Uh, it's a nice big field. Uh, it's got room for expansion. I could plow some of this extra stuff up here. So we are the proud owners of a humongous field now. Um... So how much money do we have left? Seventy-five thousand dollars. We broke. We can't. <laughs> we can't do very much of anything else. Um, so yeah, we can expand this and um, work on that. Um, I've been watching these other fields over here. Um, that one actually is ready to harvest. What's in that one? What is that? Oh, I need to switch to that, don't I? Barley. Yeah. Sunflower, yeah, it's it's an okay crop. We might shoot for that. Field 14. But uh, we need to get our other fields planted for sure. Definitely, definitely. Alright. Come on, drive this back down the way here, and we'll just take a little uh, scenic route here. So yeah, been busy, been busy working uh, over in Michigan. Michigan seems to be the new uh, craze. So I've been busy working over there. Been working on um, Felsburn too. Uh, been really busy over there. So now back to Ravenport. You know, you get busy on a map and you get caught up in it, and then you're like, I should probably go work at the other farm. I guess that's what being a farm manager is like. You know, if you have multiple farms, I probably should go pay attention to the other farm. You know, and take a look at that. So, got some stumps to grind out. Uh, field 14 is in sunflower, but it's probably got like, needs plowing and all that stuff. So we've got all, looks like all straight trees left pretty much now. Uh, took out some of the grass so I could see the stumps, and I actually missed some up here. We've got a bunch of stumps to grind out, so I'm going to do that for another time, for another day. We got all the trees cleaned up. All the crooked trees, I will say. Got them all cleaned up down here. I think this is where I left off. Yep. There's my stump grinder. I'll start grinding stumps up here. Go park this in our new shed. We built a shed. If you didn't see one of the previous episodes, uh, we built a shed down here to park all of our uh, gear in. We'll come down this little mountain cliff road here. For some reason, this kind of reminds me of, and I'm going to really show my age here. Um, they, they Back in the day, you know, Star Wars was really fun. And I need to replow this too. I forgot I did this... Uh, Sturf down here. Need to replow that. Um, back in the day, you know, with Star Wars and stuff, uh, they made some Ewok movies. That reminds me of an Ewok movie. I don't know why. I haven't seen that movie in ages. But for some reason, that cliff up there just reminds me of an Ewok movie. For some reason. I don't know why. Right, I'm going to park this. Uh, yeah, I do definitely need to come in here and uh, redo some stuff. Don't think I ever finished uh, smoothing this out here like I wanted to. I'll put this in here. Put 
bump up there. Might have to smooth that out a little. All right, but we don't have a ton of money. Let's see what we can do. All right, switching to keyboard. Definitely want to do some sculpting. Let's get on the back side here. I felt that little bump coming in. Make that a little bigger. Let's move this out. It's not so much of a bump going up in there, you know. Get it nice and smooth. Guess I could do it on this side too. Yeah, it's gonna take out part of our field, but you know what? We want to smooth this out, so we can replow it. I think we've got the side and the back here pretty much. I'm gonna leave this area void back here just so we have this little road back here. I guess I should put down some gravel, huh? Yeah, I wonder if we can smooth this. I think we can. Oh yeah. We can smooth that out to where it's a little bit smoother. Not so much of a bump going up in there. Takes a little time, but we'll get it done. For this. May have to push this field back this way a little bit, but we'll just get this smoothed out here. I wonder why it won't let me do it right there. That's sure not doing it, is it? You would think it would even that out like we did over there. Maybe I need to bring this down some more before I can do that. Bring it on down. Get turned around here. It may just be a point that we can't do anything with. Hmm. Let's just get it smooth and see what we can do. That looks pretty good, but it won't let me do anything right here. It's landing a little more. But that's pretty much it, so. Alright, let's get out of that. I think that'll work. 
So now where was the original border of the field? Right here. Yeah, we'll have to move this over. Somewhat. I've actually been thinking about redoing this back here. And I might do it, so... Um, if you haven't seen Felsbrun lately, if you know what I'm talking about, you may have, may know what I'm talking about. So, I may redo, I may redo all of this back here anyway, which would present a problem with this little bit right here, if it won't go down. I may have to have a little bump there. And it may fix itself once we, uh, if we do that, so. I'm thinking about doing it, guys. I'm thinking about doing it. We might have to. We might have to. Think about doing a lot of stuff. We're going to have to apply for more government uh, grant money, though. How are our prices doing on crops? We don't have any crops, so never mind. Well, we're going to have soybean uh, pretty soon, so uh, that price is going up at the central grain. Let's see. What tractor? This is the 7R. We'll take it back. Put it on the plow. Mm, yeah, I'll take this back with me. I was really eyeballing uh, field six here um, and field twelve. They've actually they changed the price on field twelve. So back in the day, and don't ask me which video it was because I couldn't tell you. Um, we reported that field six was like 400 and I don't know, 400 and something because they didn't change it yeah field six is four hundred thirty eight thousand dollars the only problem was field 12 was eight hundred thousand some odd dollars well now they have changed that it is now four hundred twenty eight thousand dollars it's actually cheaper than six because it's smaller and i made that argument because it made sense why is field 12 eight hundred thousand dollars and that one, $400,000. And Field 6 was, you know, obviously bigger. So now they've uh, they've fixed that. I think they found the error in their ways. So now that's $428,000. I'm very interested in these two fields. Uh, not right now. Field 6 maybe, but Field 12 has got potatoes in it. So we'll wait on Field 12. But Field 6, very interested in those because these are nice and straight. They are really nice and straight so you can just hire out your harvester or whatever you plant there and keep it going and since we already own field 11 we're moving north now we've been in the south forever we have field 19 all of these fields down here we have all of these we have this big area which i'm probably going to redo too um after we get our government grant money so now we're kind of making the move up north um Looking at a lot of these fields, that one's got soybeans in it, but it's probably ready to go anyway. No, actually it's not. It just needs fertilized. Don't have money for that one now. Because we bought field 11. All right, son, let's take this on back down to the homestead. And get our uh, other fields that we messed up plowed back up. I don't know, I may wait. I do kind of want to trade in the log trailer. The only problem is I don't remember where I left it. We didn't load any trees up here yet. I kind of want to trade it in. There's a new log trailer out there. If you've watched the Michigan uh, series, you know which one I'm talking about. Uh, it will come in handy for all these uh, fir trees that we've got here. And uh, beyond that, so. Do, 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 do. I don't know, I kind of want to wait on the fir trees, but then again, I kind of don't, because some of them are in the way. But we don't have enough here to really... Whoa. Oh, that's wizard crop. I was like, how did a rock get in my field? Looked like a rock there from an angle. I'm really thinking about uh, changing this all up back here. I really am. With the exception probably of this field. 
I'm probably going to make some changes to it, but the changes will be not quite as different as back there. I may even change that one up. I may change them all up. Get a big government grant and just change them all up to the way I want them. And uh, call it a day. So, where is my log trailer? Is it down here? I think the last place I had it was down here. Here's all my other equipment that I've just kind of sporadically parked down here. It's not down here either. Did I pass it? Not paying attention? Which is likely. Tell you what, let me drop this down here. Drop it like it's hot. Drop that like it's hot. And I probably need... I don't know. Do I need that dolly? I can't remember. Is this the map that I bought a separate dolly on or not? I better take it with me. Just be on the safe side. May have to look on the map. I was kind of trying to hope to avoid that, but did I park it down here? I, I parked it down here at the base of this hill. I have a habit of parking stuff down here. Yep, there it is. Right there. I was not paying attention. I was busy looking at the fields and dreaming of how I'm going to change them. So, yeah. Alright, let me get this and we're going to trade this in for a different model. Hopefully we've got enough money. I should make some money off of this one enough to, uh, to do this. But yeah, I think changes are coming. And no, I don't watch uh, Game of Thrones. I think I'm pretty sure that's a Game of Thrones reference. I, I don't know. I know I've known a lot of people that watch that series, but I don't know if I can get into it. I'm not really on the uh, mythological side of things. I don't uh, do the whole, you know, dragons and. Stuff like that. Of course, I do do government grants, which could be considered mythological. <laughs> but, uh... No, I'm pretty much... I like The Walking Dead and... Oh, we got French Jeff. I like the classics. I'm really a sucker for the classics. Alright, let's detach that there. And we are going to sell this back. If I didn't block the thing too bad now. We'll go ahead and repair it. I don't like returning stuff that needs repair. So we want to sell that. We'll make 20000 off of it. Alright. Now we want to buy something new. Something new, nice and shiny. Okay. Get this out front. Go over to implements, and we want to go to forestry equipment. So that's what we had. That was the timber runner by Flygel, twenty-eight thousand dollars. There's something else: the auto load lizard timber runner, wide with auto load. It's twenty-six thousand dollars. It's actually cheaper. Uh, yeah, we want to do the wide tires on it. So we will buy that. Okay. So really, we only spent six thousand dollars today. That is not bad. Not bad at all. Six thousand, well, six thousand and some odd forty-two dollars for repair and you know whatever. Uh, oh no, we spent more than that. We bought a field. We spent six hundred and what eighty, six hundred eighty thousand dollars, I think. Yeah. So we did spend some money. All right. So this is our new log trailer. It's got the auto load feature, which will make things go by a little bit smoother. I think we've earned this. 
I have loaded so many trees with the forks that uh, I think it's time to move on to uh, more efficient ways and uh, this one comes with its own invisible magician to uh, load the logs um, what is the thing uh, what do they call that uh, one where they lift the feather uh, wing 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 guard wing guardium no wing guardum no that don't sound right that sounds like the regnet term wing garden wing garden um leviosa that's it it's leviosa not leviosa so yeah it comes with its own invisible magician to lift the logs in there for us for us yeah we'll park this uh, right here for the time being so yeah here at the intersection guys take a look around um, I gotta grind out the stumps I'm gonna do that in the uh, off recording get all those taken out I got a bunch of stumps everywhere to get rid of uh, but take a good look around at all this land as it is right now all of this is gonna change and it's gonna be very interesting when I change it so get ready buckle up um, it's gonna be different it's gonna be very different uh, I probably won't do all of it at the same elevation but we're gonna get with the flattening tool here and uh, really make some changes to all of this so get ready get ready it's coming there it is there's that reference again I, I'm pretty sure it's a Game of Thrones reference but I don't watch Game of Thrones guys so but anyway uh, yeah, get ready. Changes are coming. Um, I think that, what, how do they say it? Like winter? Speaking of winter, it is freezing cold outside, but that's another story. Anyway, we're at the end of this episode. Uh, I'm going to work on the stumps, and we'll either come back and do a harvest mission on field 11, uh, or we'll get into this uh, government project here. I don't know which will come first. I got a lot of stumps to grind out before I can do this, so we might do a harvest mission in between now and then. And it might not. We might do the uh, the big uh, the big project back here. So we'll see in the next episode. Until then, remember you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Green Arcade. We'll see you guys later.